Hey guys, today I've got a trick that's going to improve the clarity and dialogue, especially of your music and movies, if you have a typical living room. And that is simply making your coffee table disappear. Now, I don't mean actually removing it from the room, although that would be ideal. Unfortunately, many of us have uh, the affliction of significant other acceptance factor. My wife simply insists on having a coffee table here in the room, even though it does nothing. We never use it. It just supports knickknacks and looks pretty. I admit it does look nice in the room and it looks better having it than not, but it's not doing our audio any favors. So what I tend to do is simply put a blanket over it, something to absorb the reflections from the three main speakers in the front preventing those slight delays and reflections from reaching my ears. I don't have to remove it from the room. The blanket works just fine. So what I'm going to do is give you a couple tracks that you can listen to yourself and test this to hear the difference and see if it's making a difference in your room. And I'm also going to take some REW measurements just to see, because I've never measured it, if we can see it on the graph and hopefully see a difference in the chart, if it's cleaning it up, if it's affecting some, I don't know, a null, a peak. Maybe it's affecting some comb filtering. I don't know what the graph is gonna show, but I know it makes a difference to my ears. Let's get going. So I found the perfect track. I'll tell you about that in a second. Right now we're gonna start some sweeps. I have the table open as it is normally in the room. I'm gonna do five sweeps of each. Okay, once, one, two, four, eight. We'll do, we'll do four. And then I'm gonna average both because when you do measurements like this, one can certainly be an anomaly. I showed that in previous videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these of the base and I'll tell you up front, I can tell a slight difference in this particular track and I'll tell you what to listen for, but I'm gonna do this and then we'll cover it up with a blanket, take some different ones and see if we see a difference on the graph, specifically in the higher end of the spectrum. and smooth this one out. Let's see what we see. Okay, so the bottom end, pretty much exactly the same. And what we see up in the high end is a difference. And I'll tell you exactly what that difference is translating to. Okay, so to try this out for yourself, you wanna to listen to this particular track I found the dialogue clarity in movies also enhanced, especially where it was hard to hear in the first place, especially if you have, like me, a fairly anemic center channel. That, by the way, is going to change tomorrow. But listen to Tom Petty's Melinda Live between a minute 30 and two minutes. You should hear a clarity difference in his voice, but what should be crystal clear as far as, okay, that made a big difference, is the high-pitched guitar picking. It goes in for about 20 seconds of individual strings being plucked very high on the register. Without it covered, with it bouncing the waves and getting some comb filtering, it sounds a little muddy. I know that's a term typically used for bass response, but the high notes kind of blend together. When it's covered, they stand out more. There's less ringing from note to note, and it's easier to visualize the actual strings on stage. It's, I mean, it's not a huge, like world shattering difference, but it is noticeable. If you do it during the track and you just have somebody or very quickly go cover the table, you're like, oh yeah, that, I mean, just do an A-B test like that. And you should instantly hear the difference. And that's what that graph is showing. It's a small change. You know, looking at that difference in the charts, I never would have expected to hear that kind of difference. But it's certainly there. So there you go. Hope this helps somebody. Give it a shot for yourself. Let me know down in the comments if it made any difference in your situation. I'd like to know. Stay tuned for more. I have a fairly big upgrade coming up. Although it's going to be a longer process because there is some break-in involved. See you next time.